Amen. Amen. It is once more and again that the Almighty God of Heaven has indeed blessed us to come together that we might praise and worship His holy and His divine name. Yeah. Certainly it's good to see those of you who have been privileged to weather uh, the storm tonight and to come and to worship God one more time. It's always a privilege that God grants unto us when he gives us this opportunity. We ought to not ever take this opportunity for granted. We ought to always look forward to the time when we can come together as the children of God and render unto God what he is so worthy and deserving of. We're just glad to see each and every one of you here with us tonight. If there perhaps are those in the audience who are not members of the body of Christ, you're truly and indeed our honored guest tonight. We're glad to have you here with us, praying and hoping that you will listen to God's preached word attentively and make a conscious decision to make your reservations in heaven. One of these old days we're going to have to leave here. And we've got to go somewhere. And so tonight you can make your reservations for heaven by putting on your Lord and Savior in baptism, becoming a member of the church that you can read about in the Bible, and becoming a child of God. Proverbs chapter 15 tonight and verse number 1. Please stand with me for the reading of the word of Almighty God. Proverbs chapter 15, <clears throat> verse number 1. One verse of scripture, and I would ask that you would all read this one verse aloud with me, please. Proverbs chapter 15, and verse number one, the Bible says, A soft answer turneth away wrath, but grievous words stir up anger. Amen. God bless you may be seated in the presence of our God. We ask him that the Lord would certainly add a blessing unto those who are the readers and those who certainly are the doers of his holy and his divine will. Tonight we want to talk from the first three words of the first verse of the 15th chapter of the book of Proverbs, a soft Answer. Amen. We want to talk about a soft answer as it pertains to conflict resolution. Within the book of Proverbs, the wisdom of God is given unto man that he might be able to deal with the issues of life. Amen. Insight on how to maintain morality be guided by God and uphold a standard of godly goodness can be found within these inspired pages. This book helps us to see what we need to see about life and how to handle the various situations of life. This book helps us to understand what we don't understand about obtaining and living a peaceful life. And if we're ever truly going to live a peaceful life, we need to understand how to properly resolve conflict. Yeah. Conflict resolution is an art that's taught unto us here in the first verse of the 15th chapter of the book of Proverbs. Solomon here teaches us a principle that gets to the heart of why most conflict is not resolved. And that's because and in an argument, anger is not properly turned away. Yeah. Anger, biblically defined, is an internal emotion that causes the nostrils to flare 
as heavy and strong breathing releases the tension that one feels because they believe that they have encountered a certain sense of injustice. Anger is a natural emotion related to an individual psychological interpretation of having been wrong, offended, or denied the right to justice. It's a normal emotion that involves a strong, uncomfortable emotional response towards someone or something that has withheld from you peace but has brought you problems. Anger throughout the book of Proverbs has been condemned and we have been encouraged as the children of God to abstain from becoming angry and avoid angry people. Amen. Come on in the room tonight. Amen. Proverbs chapter 14 and verse number 17, the Bible says unto us, He that is soon angry dealeth foolishly, and a man of wicked devices is hated. Proverbs chapter 29 and verse number 22, look at what the Bible says. Proverbs chapter 29 and verse number 22, the Bible says, An angry man stirreth of strife, and a furious man aboundeth in transgression. Proverbs chapter 22 and beginning at verse number 24. Proverbs chapter 22 and beginning at verse number 24, the Bible says, Make no friendship with an angry man. And with the furious man thou shalt not go, lest thou learn his ways and get a snare to thy soul. With these exhortations in mind, we can clearly and plainly see the value of not only abstaining from becoming angry, but also knowing the importance of how to diffuse an angry situation. Right. That's what we're looking at here in Proverbs chapter 15 and verse number 1. Solomon gives us the formula. Solomon gives us the remedy. Solomon gives us the prescription for removing an angry situation to one of resolve. Right. Solomon says a soft answer turneth away wrath. But grievous words stirreth up anger. In this particular verse, Solomon teaches us at least three things concerning a soft answer turning away wrath. He teaches us something about the value of maintaining a calm, collective composure. He teaches us something valuable about having your emotions in check to the degree that you can help somebody else get their emotions in check if you know how to answer them. And so when we look at at least three things that Solomon teaches us from the text that helps us deal with anger, number one, Solomon says that talking softly diffuses anger. In other words, it disconnects anger's power cord. It removes the continuous flow of anger's movement. For anger to live, it has to have a reciprocal object at which its fury is fueled. And when you talk softly to somebody who's talking loudly, it's like pulling the plug. It's like removing the source of their power. It's like putting them on the level that they need to be because when they're on 10 you need to be on 2 Amen somebody Ephesians chapter 4 and beginning at verse number 25 Ephesians chapter 4 and beginning at verse number 25 listen to what the apostle Paul says here Ephesians 4 25 the Bible informs us that we need to put away lying and speak every man truth with his neighbor. He says, for we are all members 
verse 1 of another. Regardless of the situation, no matter what the consequences may be, Paul indicates that if you want to avoid an angry situation, merely tell the truth. Amen up in here. Jesus said a long time ago that he shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. Now depending on what you've done, the truth might get you locked up. Amen. But you'll be free. <laughs> but you'll be free with God. I'd rather go to jail than hell any day. Amen. Amen. And so the Bible says that every man speak truth with his neighbor because we are members one of another.